Exclusive new details tonight in a deadly officer involved shooting at a senior community in Sandy. We had been told he was wanted, but not much more than that. Well, tonight, News Plus shows Garna Mejia has the exclusive story from that man's family. Garna, what do we know? Yeah, Dan, good evening. Uh, tonight, that man's family is identifying him as 45-year-old Ian Unzer. He was staying here at his mother's apartment at the Silver Pines Senior Community. Now, they're still trying to understand what exactly happened and how everything escalated. Some sequence of events took place. I don't know what they were, um, but it did result in an officer involved shooting. Very few details. That was Sandy Police yesterday afternoon after they said officers from the U.S. Marshals VFAS Task Force shot and killed a wanted fugitive. Tonight, that man's family is identifying him as 45 year old Ian Unzer, who was staying at his elderly mother's apartment when officers arrived in search of him. Ian's brother Anthony says he was banned from the property by management. When they spotted him, he assumes they called police. They uh, started banging on the door, and he said, You can't enter without a warrant. And they said that they were going to break the door down because it was a hostage situation, but I don't understand that. Anthony says his mother was in the apartment, but she did not feel threatened. At some point, the officers were able to breach the door and entered where they encountered Ian. And uh, they just shot him. Three, three shots is what I heard. They went, you know, center of mass and just shot him. That he allegedly was going for a kitchen knife. Anthony says his mother walked out of a bedroom as the incident unfolded and witnessed her son being shot. It's gonna be a big issue for our family. She just witnessed something horrific. And um, we're just gonna to have to, you know, pull together and, and, and make sure that she's gonna be okay. Ian's family is still waiting for answers. They're hoping the officer's body cam footage will show whether a knife was really involved. As for this tragic loss of Ian's life? He wasn't a violent person. He just wasn't. He, he, he had a big mouth. I'll, I'll give you that. In the end, he was a good person. He really was. He always was there for people. He always wanted to be loved. Now, media calls are being fielded through the U.S. Marshals. We've got a few calls in and are waiting to hear back. Of course, we'll keep you posted. In the meantime, though, we did discover that there was a warrant out for uh, Ian's arrest. It was issued back on November 21st. Now, this was connected to an incident that happened here at the same place back in June. Dan, for now, I'll send it back to you. Yeah, still a lot of unanswered questions here. Thanks a lot, Garner Mejia, live for us tonight here.